we kind of uh, been talking about uh, passions, creating things, uh, what do you want to be, what's the future going to look like? And today I'm going to tell you how you can become a filmmaker. Now, before you get all of your hopes up, uh, I'm not going to be going through exactly how to hold a camera or how to edit in Final Cut Pro or how to write uh, an Oscar winning script uh, today. We can, we can cover that a little bit later. Um, you know, today I'm going to be kind of filling you in on my journey on how I eventually became a filmmaker. A um, <clears throat> little bit about uh, me, this is a, a photo from the Phoenix Film Festival a few weeks ago um, <clears throat> when, I, when I won the Filmmaker of the Year Award. It was, it was very unexpected for me at, at the time and it was, um, I guess you could say it's, uh, I teach film now and, and I didn't start that way. Uh, in fact, for me, I didn't even own a video camera until I was 30. So to win that award, um, I'm almost 40 now, so 10 years later to win that award was, was uh, a little bit of a surprise. Um, I had, you know, back in high school and, and, and grade school, like I knew some, some of my friends that uh, maybe I thought, you know, oh, that, that person, you know, they, they want to be, be a filmmaker. They're going to do it. You could just tell how they are. In fact, uh, my friend Dennis was one of those people. Um, you could just kind of see, he, he would have uh, movie posters on his wall, he would have, uh, he'd watch silent movies and go to the indie films that had the weird names with them. And I was not Dennis. I'd, I'd look at Dennis, he, he knows what he's going to do. He's good, awesome. Uh, he even looks, uh, kind of starts looking the part. And he's, he's almost looked that way his whole life. Like he has that just sort of filmmaker look. And for me, I had no idea what I was doing when I was in high school. Um, and I had some things that I thought I was good at, things that I thought I was supposed to do. Um, some of you may have heard that term before, you know, oh, you're good at this, oh, you're supposed to do this. You might hear it from your family or your, you know, your, uh, your teachers or someone. And I heard that too. And in fact, I was supposed to do things with computers. Um, I liked using computers. I, I taught myself how to do things. And, and back when I was using computers, you know, this was one of my first ones. Um, one, we also had a printer. And at the time, that was a big deal. In fact, uh, I taught myself how to use a printer. Could make my own little cards. Cards that showed off the fact that I knew how to use a printer. So, <laughs> kind of thought, all right, yeah, I, this is what I should be doing. I'm supposed to do something with computers. And so I went to, ended up going to college and, and getting a degree in computer science because that's what I thought I was supposed to be doing. And that led me to, to getting a job. And that was fantastic. Uh, I, I got a job, it paid good money, all those things that you're supposed to have. And I started working at the job and I found out that I kind of wasn't really a good fit there as much as I thought I would be, uh, as much as I was supposed to be. Uh, this is a picture of a corporate zombie, um, kind of walking around. You know, I, wasn't, I didn't quite look like that. I, I didn't have green skin or anything. Um, but I, I did kind of just feel like I still didn't really know what I should be doing. Um, even though I was at a place and I was, I was doing what I'm supposed to do, things that I, I thought I liked, uh, I definitely still like using computers and, and technology, but this kind of wasn't it. And I found I wasn't being as creative as I, um, as I could. And, and I kind of had this little voice in my head that said, hey, we should do something about this. And so one day, I still cannot tell you even why I did it, but I remember afterwards hanging up the phone and I signed up for an improv class. Does anyone know what improv is? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's like, whose line is it anyway, making things up on stage. Now, here's the weird thing about that is I never took a theater class in high school or college. So here I am almost, you know, in my late 20s taking uh, a class and getting up on stage. And this was totally out of character for me at the time. Like, I just did not, never would have thought, it's me, it's really a wig, it's not, uh, I didn't have my hair that long ever. Um, <clears throat> but I, I kind of started to fill some time in, in after work and, and really found like, wow, this is really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing it. Something I never had done in my life before. And that 
kind of led me to making a movie. Uh, so I, I would kind of got together with some friends of ours. You can see how long ago this was. This is the kind of TVs we had. Um, and I finally bought my first camera. And because we were improvisers, we kind of just made it up at the time. And we started to figure things out. But I found that I really liked doing it. And, and it was a lot of fun. And things started to click for me. And I, I wasn't trying to be a filmmaker. I still didn't think of myself as a filmmaker. I, I, even now, I, I feel I'm, I'm very blessed and very lucky to have had the life that I've had. And, and, um, <clears throat> but you know, looking at this, it, things started to work. And I'm like, let me, let me try this a little bit more. Let me learn a little bit more about this. And as that went, it, it just kind of started sticking. And uh, many, many, many films later, um, I'm, I'm here today. And, and, and so, you know, over time, it, it kind of just started to accumulate. And now I've had a few commercials that have been on TV and um, had some things in the Phoenix Film Festival and some other film festivals around the country. And, uh, you know, but I still didn't start thinking of myself as a filmmaker. But things kind of start to connect with each other along the way. And I ended up finding my passion in the fact that I teach right now, and our nonprofit focuses on doing workshops, helping students to make movies. I didn't think of myself as a teacher when I started either, and that's what I'm doing now. So I want you guys to kind of keep that in mind. As you guys are sitting here looking at people on stage, listening to their talks, as you guys go forward in your lives, as you hear people that, oh, they're, they're a filmmaker, they're a musician, they're an artist, and they're so good at it. Well, notice there's things here, like I found my, my passion later in life, there's things here that you guys are going to be awesome and amazing at that you've never, ever done before. Let that sink in for a second. Things you've never even thought about doing, and you will be amazing at them. Not all of them, but there's something that you've never done before that will be amazing. So if you can kind of find that, pick something, even if you pick it now, something that you think is, is amazing now. You've heard from other people today and seen some videos that where one thing maybe led to something else. You didn't intend to start with this, but kind of took you to the next place. And that's kind of what I've went through. And it's not just you along the way. It's, you will have help. You will have other people as part of your crew. And just like in Toy Story 3, um, some people you think are your friends uh, might not be your best friends along the whole journey. And that's OK. Uh, you'll figure that out. And some people will be there. And if you're able to work with other people and kind of do some things with, with your friends and other people you meet along the way, well, they're going to help you get to wherever you're supposed to be going next. So just like the last presentation, it's important, and the other ones today, it's important to create things. And it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, hey, if you had talked, if I was up here when I was in seventh grade giving this talk, I would have said, hey, I'm going to print out cards on my printer. Each one took about 20 minutes to print out. It took so long, it was horrible. Uh, I never in my wildest dreams would have ever thought I would have a film in a film festival and have it play up on a movie screen and things like that. It wasn't even a blip in my, in my head at the time. But it's something that, that I think all of you will end up doing, whether it's film or it's being a musician or being, uh, uh, meeting the president. Some of them, some of us here in this room have a leg up, <laughs> but not everybody. Others might want to be in that position at some point. So whatever it is, start creating. And it's OK if it doesn't stick. Um, what we do at Sailor Bear Labs is we want to work and encourage students to create something unique, to share their own unique story. And really, that's my unique story of how I became a filmmaker. So thank you very much.